hello everyone welcome back to the new video and i saw a comment in the last video someone talking about home lab so i thought i'd make a video on this of how you can set up a home lab that is going to help you in bug bounties and also you will learn like how you can set up these applications locally as well as it will be good for your resume as well so not just the home lab you're also going to see how you can set up a WAF as well for your home lab so it's going to protect your web applications from malicious attacks so learning these things is pretty beneficial for you in cybersecurity. so the WAF that we are going to explore is SafeLine so let's get into it and i have set up a os2 shop as you can see so this is the application that i'm going to protect so the web that i'm talking about is this one so i've logged in that's why you are seeing this but you can just simply search for safe line web so i just want to give you a quick idea about this So yeah, this is the main application and you can see it's a web application firewall and it is very simple, lightweight and self-hosted WAF to protect your application from cyber attacks. And you know what? I've never set up a WAF before, but for this video, I was setting it up and I found it pretty easy to set it up. So I'll just show you how you can do that as well. So of course you can sign up here and you can see how this works. To set this up, you can go to GitHub, uh, SafeLine GitHub and over here, you can see some more diagrams and of course, how to deploy. These are the features of what it does, but of course I'm going to explore every feature. So we're gonna come at that eventually. So yeah, let me scroll down and here is the install guide. So let me open this up. Okay, so here we are. Operating system should be Linux and you should have uh, Docker installed. So let me show you. Uh, how I installed it. There are actually two commands that you need to run. First is to install docker.io and then docker compose. And you can see I've installed docker.io here. So yeah, once you have these two installed, you can just copy this command from here and you can just paste it in your terminal. It will start setting up your WAF. So let me show you. So as you can see, I've run the command over here and it asks me, Joyce, what do you want to do? Uh, install, upgrade, and uninstall. So I just wanted to install. That's why I type one and then I hit enter. And then this is the default path. It's going to install safe line. Then it will start um, running or pulling all those Docker images and set it up for you. Give it a few minutes and then you will see a username and password so this is a random generated password and it will run safeline for you on port 9443 so you can just uh, open up this url and you can log in with your username and password and then you will see this ui as you can see my ip here and port and i can see the dashboard is ready for me to use so let's explore these tabs one by one. First we have is statistics, so which is like the summary of everything. How many requests came? How many visitors were there? Was there any unique IP? Uh, how many requests were blocked? What was the error rate? Uh, how many 500 errors it came across? And how many 400 were blocked? 400 requests are usually uh, authorization requests like if there is 401 that caused unauthorized then it will show the number of requests that caused that 401 status code so currently i don't have any data over here that's why I'm not seeing anything but there's one thing i really like um there is a demo application yeah this live demo so if you click on this live demo you will see how it looks like yeah, so you can see the numbers now, blocked rate, percentage, how many errors were there, how many requests were blocked. And you can also see it's also showing the attacks, um, blacklist or if someone hit a rate limit and stuff like that. So let me go back here. And in the application, you can simply add uh, your application that you want to protect. To add the application here, I'm going to click on add application and then over here I can provide either the IP or the domain name. So you can also put asterisk here which is by default over here because I'm running the 
uh, application and this web both in my local host because this is a home lab i'm going to use asterisk symbol and then you can provide the um, port so my os2 shop is actually running on http yeah so you can see it's uh, using http not https that's why i'm going to use port 80 for now but of course if you are using https you can use port 443 and then you can also provide your ssl certificate to use that feature now i'm going to provide the upstream upstream is basically the path of where your web application is running like the path of your uh, application that you want to protect using WAF. so i'm just going to copy this whole thing and i'm just going to paste it over here okay and when i'm done i can also provide application names so i'm gonna call it jusha cool now this is done and you can just click on submit okay we can remove uh, port 443 because we don't need it and now we can just click on submit okay as you can see my application is added here now and now it will start protecting it uh, from different kind of attacks now let's look at what kind of attacks is going to protect your application with we have the attacks tab here again i'm going to um, show you this in a demo how it looks like you will see the ip address and you will also see the location in this case is china and then the application and then the attack count in this case it's three and for how long it happened which is three minutes in this case and when it was started pretty simple and now let's go to allow and deny so allow and deny is a section where you can provide some custom rules like uh, what should happen for this particular ip or for this particular path so you can see the option for custom rules here and here you can see there are some default rules that are enabled this one is disabled and this is enabled now let's move on to the next section we have is http flood so this one is about rate limiting so by limiting the rate of request from a single source it effectively defends against ddos attacks malicious crawlers and bot it will do so let's uh, go to the demo again go to http flood and you can see ip and the application and reason one request within 60 seconds basic access limit was triggered okay and then what was the action the action was anti-bot challenge so you can provide what kind of challenge the user is going to uh, get based on their actions in the in this section which is anti-bot challenge for example there are different kind of challenges here first is capture challenge demo second is anti-replay demo let's go auth so you can provide an extra layer of authentication using the auth challenge over here so basically you can create a user and provide it a username and password for example if i click on settings and you can see i have the option for add user i can click on add user provide username password email and phone number is optional but you can also add this and then you can just simply create it once you create it a user will be provided with the extra layer of authentication to type this username and password and then they will be able to access the application okay so let me show you something if i paste the payload here so this is an access payload and this is a random id parameter and if i hit enter you can see it says access forbidden and below you can see security detection powered by safe line that means the safe line is working so yeah that's it for this video i hope you really enjoyed watching it you learned something new definitely check out safe line from the link in the description and don't forget to like and subscribe so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one